hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing how i survive all of teacher's salary so if you're interested in this video i'd like you to keep watching okay you're seeing this face for the first time and you're wondering who this person is my name is nonye balogun and i'm a nigerian so welcome to my channel be kind to subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed yet and a returning subscriber thank you for checking out this channel again i'm super excited that you're here again to watch this video so that being said let's jump right into the video if you have to survive on a teacher's salary it's important that you plan now hold on do not click out of this video yet it's important that you plan a lot of people have said that the amount of money they earn whether as a teacher or whether working in any other state out or organization has never been enough so this is what i'm saying to you it can never be enough even if you earn money in the millions of dollars it will never be enough that's just the truth let's start from that part so this is why i say that you have to plan i'll give you my suggestions for planning you may want to take it or you may leave it if you already have your own plan so please always break down your salary into five groups into five distinct groups the first group where your salary should go to obviously if you're a firm believer or a firm believer in faith or a true believer in god you should do it your tithe that's one tenth well that's not the discussion for today if you truly believe in titan so it's important you let a part a tenth part of your money go and then the next thing i want to say is let share cut out a certain portion for savings cut out a certain portion for investment then the large jack chunk should go into your expenditure for the month which you should also plan effectively and then set aside something ridiculous for missing for miscellaneous right so i suggest that people plan a lot of people don't believe in planning and i was shocked yesterday when i was speaking to some categories of people and they were talking to me about how they do not believe in planning planning is a waste of their precious time and i'm like wait check out every successful person check out everybody that has succeeded at one point they are believe me people that have planned at some point in their lives and i like to say that if you do not document how do you know if you've achieved it if you've not written things down so i'm going to show you what i use as a planner for my finances i saw it somewhere and i got really interested and hey this is what it looks like it has a calculator in front see it's a 2020 planner but i've converted it into a financial planner and then the calculator in front helps me a whole lot it helps me a great deal to do my breakdown to do my calculation and then i also use um, colored pens to to separate whatever i want to separate so i have colored i have things written down in colors and then i have sticky notes all around this so you may want to also try it out you may try to get yourself an exercise book or something it may not be a planner like this you have a calculator on your phone or your device you can use that but then planning believe me works well so i use this colored pens to help me plan and then i use highlighter also to strike out whatever I've achieved. So this has been working for me and so I thought I should share. So that's number one. Very quickly, I'd like to go to the second one that works. So the second suggestion would be the group savings. In Nigeria, the group savings is called Ajo in Yoruba, Isusu in Igbo and Adashe in Hausa. I don't know how it's pronounced. A-D-A-S-H-A. So it's a group savings to help for borrowing in emergencies. So four to five people can come together especially people who work in the same organization so that you know when you get paid then you pull certain amount of resources for a certain period of time let's assume you're doing five thousand naira for each person so you're going to have four people for four months starting from maybe january february march april so for this four months you're going to pull five five thousand naira aside so the first person in january picks twenty thousand second person twenty like that to you're done with the contribution but this is a disclaimer i'm going to issue if you are not sure of the people you are having this a job with i suggest that you do not even start it in the first place or if you are not too sure of these people this is what my suggestion would be make sure that you start it so that you're sure of yourself you're going to pay back the second third and fourth people some people have been involved in a job at some point and the other group of people people in their group have disappointed and they just come up with 
um, cock and bull stories of how the chicken ate the goat and the goat was swallowed by the elephant and the elephant disappeared into the space and then the money they start to pay the money in trickles instead of paying back five thousand naira monthly they pay back two thousand naira eight thousand naira and they come up with stories and then they spoil the entire plan so that's not the essence of our job or a susu as the case may be the essence is for people that understand themselves and trust themselves and work and are working towards the same goal. That's why I suggest that you work in the same organization. That way you know when salaries are being paid. So this just helps when you have an emergency or when you have something pressing that you want to achieve at a particular time. Some people want to pay their rent at a particular month, so they choose such month. Maybe their rent are due in February, so they choose the month of February, or they want to pay certain bills, or they want to travel, or they want to buy things. So I've seen people do a job of 500,000 naira or a million naira. Five people come together, they do one, one million, and that's five million. I've seen that, but then they put down collaterals in case it just disappear with their money. But then I've seen that happen. So that's from the angle of our job. You can do that also as a teacher if you need to do like a bulk purchase or solve a particular problem. So a job would work for you. So that's number two. Then my third and final. Now these suggestions are side um, side hustles, what you can be doing. You know, I have a different video for that. So this is something this is like managing what you have or living on what you earn as it were so it's different from maybe passive income or side hustle so there are going to be other videos for that but these are some of the things that i've done and have worked for me so if you're a teacher and you're thinking how do i just manage this whole thing this whole then this is the big one for me is a group investment now this is different from savings where you collect and then do whatever you want but for this investment in fact the one i joined it runs for a whole year so we pull the same amount of money every month and the moment you start in January nobody joins so when we first started we had like about um, we we're, were about 15 who started and it was really top on point it was very good nobody disappointed at any point so we ran it for one year and then we saw the fantastic increase that we got at the end of the year plus the dividend because we had to invest as a group so it was more money investing as a group and then we got the dividend of our investment at the end of the day and everybody was happy in december we shared the money and guess what everybody got richer in december so in 2020 we raised the bar and we have more people and it's been working it's been working so you can try that but please be sure what you're doing if you have to do this so these three tips if you haven't tried any of them try them that's surviving on your salary if you are in nigeria so i hope you find these tips very useful let me know what you think about them in the comment section if you tried anyone before if you have all your own suggestions please let me know but i'm talking about what i have used and has worked for me i'm not talking about orders that exist that i haven't tried that's not what i'm doing right now my video right now is about what i've tried before and that's what's up for me so thank you very much for watching this video i'd like you to give it a thumb up subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already i'll see you in another video until then stay happy bye for now if you're new to my channel click on the subscribe button tap on the notification bell like it comment and share thank you